Hello everyone, welcome to another Java for Testers tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about access modifiers in Java. So access modifiers is a really important concept in Java and it is important to understand because access modifiers will be utilized to control the access to the members of the class. So uh, basically, in, in Java, in order to provide the access or rest restrict the access for uh, different, you know, class members, for example, methods or the data types or the class itself, you need to use the access modifiers and understand when a particular access modifier is utilized or used, what is the significance or what will be the impact in the actual uh, scenarios. So even in Selenium automation, when we talk about the packages and access modifiers, so uh, the package concept you'll be using a lot when we design our, uh, you know, uh, the the framework or the end-to-end -end automation framework using Selenium web drivers. Say for example, we'll be using the package concept to store the similar classes. For example, uh, the utilities will create a package for the utilities and store all the util uh, classes within the util package then there'll be another package which will store all the common methods which are uh, you know very commonly used across all the test cases another package for the test cases so that's where the significance of packages comes in and a package uh, along with the access modifier we'll be using a lot when we design our automation framework now uh, in order to explain you the access modifier i have already created certain packages here so i have created another project altogether and I have created four packages in the in this particular project. Now to create a package, you simply need to create an you know right click on the SRC folder, click on new and click on package, and then simply provide the name of the package. So here I have provided com.rcv and the name of the package name of the package will be basically pkg uh, you know four or five whatever. So uh, this is just a dummy name that I have used in the actual scenario. Uh, you will be utilizing the package format based on the application that you are developing as we have seen on this selenium website right so for example org.openqa.selenium.ie so very reasonable name or the the relevant name as per the development that you are doing so uh, now within this particular package i have created a class so within this class, so basically when we talk about the access modifier, so Java provides four types of access modifier, public, then there is a default wherein you don't specify any modifier, then you have the private and protected. All right. So these are the four modifiers now at the class level. So the first I'll divide this tutorial into two parts. The first part will be uh, discussing about the access modifier for the class itself now the any class in java you can have the access modifier either as public you can specify public or you can't or you don't specify any access modifier but others you can't have private um, you'll you'll get an error in that case or you can't even have the protected for the class level so if you hover over this um, class A, you will see that illegal modifier for the class, uh, only public abstract and final are permitted. So basically either you have to specify public, abstract and final will look later when we cover more advanced topics. But as of now, in terms of access modifier, it only allows either public or no modifier, which is basically the default modifier in java so if the class is having the access modifier as public what will be the impact or what access will be available to other classes in the same package or in the, in the other package that we that we are going to look so here i have declared four variable and i have named these variable as public default depending on the uh, access modifier type accordingly private and protected and then four methods accordingly so public method uh, private uh, depending on the access modifier that is defined for these particular methods okay 
so let me change it to protected here so protected so this is protected method so i'm printing the uh, the line here based on what method be, is being called so this is the private method default and public right so now because this class is having the public access modifier if i have to use or if i have to get all these methods or call all these methods simply i have to you know uh, create an object of this class and i can use it right so uh, in this same class itself if for example i define a main method here right and i want to use i'll copy it at the top so for example if i have the main method and i want to use all these methods what i'll do is i'll simply create an object of this class right i can't directly use or i can't call these methods directly unless until they are you know um static so static we have already seen in the previous tutorial so for now what we have to do if we have to access these methods we simply have to create an object of this class to create an object what we have to do is we simply have to say class a and then provide the name and use the new keyword and create an object of this particular class so this is the object and this is the variable that holds that particular object so ca if i now say ca and then i'll be able to access all these you know the the variables that i have defined so default uh, private or protected or public and the methods as well right so i can access all these methods within the same class so that's within the same class now if i want to access these methods if the class is defined as public into another class which is part of the same package right so what we need to do is we need to follow the same process so within the main methods i'll create an object of that class so class a ca and use the new keyword to create an object of that particular class and then i'll be able to access the methods that are available there right so what all methods can i access so i can access protected variable or the method uh, i can access the public ones and then i can access uh, the default but i cannot access the private ones right so that's the difference between uh, when you are accessing the methods or the variables of the other class which are even uh, part of the same package then you can't access the private uh, methods or the variable from the other class so th we'll understand that in more detail when we uh, you know go further but for now if you if your class is defined as public in order to access that or the methods of the class that is that is defined as public you have to create an object and then you can access the methods that are defined within the class or the variables that are defined within the class um, in the same package now say for example so here i can simply get that default method okay now say for example now uh, because this class is public so even in the other package if i want to access the methods that are available in this particular class a so this class b is part of com.rcv.package2 right so if i want to access the methods that are part of class a i simply have to follow the same process because that class is public so it is accessible publicly across all the packages in the same package as well as across all the packages so I'll simply say uh, class A C A is equal to new class A and then I can simply call the methods. So for example, public method, I can call on that. And as soon as I'll do that, you will see that the import is required. So basically that class needs to be imported into the package if the the class from where you want to access the methods or uh, the variables of that particular class so for example in this case class a then class b has to import that class 
Only then you can create an object and access the methods or variables of the class A. So if you want to access or if you want to import all the classes within this particular package, you simply have to say dot star. And what this means is that now if there is any method that you want to access from class AA, so let me define a method. I'll say public method or public void method AA and let me just print something so method AA right so now if I want to access this method from class B because I'm importing all the classes of this particular package so simply I'll be able to create an object of class AA so what I can do is I can simply create an object of class AA and then I'll be able to access the method of the class AA which I have defined right so I can simply say CAA dot and then you'll be able to get the method right so I can access the method AA if I run this particular uh, program then you will see public method and method AA got printed. So that's how you will import either a single class or the multi or the classes or the whole classes within that particular package. So that's all about the classes uh, when the class is defined as the public class. Now the other access modifier at the class level is you don't specify any modifier which is basically the default, right? If I change it to default and save this particular method you will see that in class B now I have started getting the errors. And if you hover over uh, part this particular class, you can see the change visibility of class A to public. What this means is that if the class access modifier is default, then you can only access it within the same package, right? Or you can access the methods and variables of that particular class so here in this case you can see class a has been changed to default right the access modifier has been changed removed and the if there is no access modifier that means the access modifier is default so class aa is still not throwing any error i can still create an object of class a which because class double a is in the same package and i can access the default method which is part of the class A, right? And if I run this, this will still run fine. So if I'll just proceed and you'll see default method got printed. But in class B, you will see that because class B is part of a different package, com.rcv.pkg2. Now, this class won't be able to access class A because class A has been marked as default access so these are two access modifiers that will be applicable at the class level either the class will be public in that case it is accessible across all the packages you just need to import the packages or the classes that you want to utilize uh, if the class is not having the public access modifier or it is having a default access uh, modifier then in that case it won't be accessible to the classes that are part that are part of other packages right so in this case class b is part of package 2 and that is why it won't be able to access the methods in the class a so that's the brief about the access modifier at the class level now in the next tutorial what we'll learn about we'll learn about the other or all the access modifiers that are available so public int private and protected uh, for the method or the variable level or the uh, parts of the class basically so when we talk about the the class content so you will have methods you can have variable so we'll define or we'll discuss about these access modifiers in the next tutorial at the class level you just need to remember that there are only two access modifier either the class will be public or 
no modifier in that case it is a default modifier and what is the behavior in case your class is public and it doesn't have any access modifier or the default modifier we have already seen that particular behavior so please make sure you go through this tutorial a um, couple of times understand if you're not able to you know understand the details once uh, browse through other websites that are available um, just google and see and read the concept and also practice so because practicing will help you a lot in understanding all the concepts similarly you just create different packages try to change the access modifier at the class level and see what is the impact in accessing different methods or the variables within the classes so that's all for this tutorial uh, in the next tutorial we'll understand more details about the access modifier hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching